Hi everyone, Caitlin here with IMG, and today we're going to talk about Pardot users. To find your users, we're going to come over here to Pardot settings. Then on the left hand side, if we scroll down a little bit, we'll see user management and underneath that we'll see users. We're going to click into there. Okay, and this is where you can find all of your users. If you wanted to add a new user, we would come over here, click this blue button, and now we can start filling in these fields. Not every field is required, so you do not have to fill in all of them. That is up to you. If we continue to go down, we'll see this HTML email signature. So this is really nice if you're sending emails out of Pardot. You can copy and paste your email signature from your personal email server here. So I'll go ahead and do that. And it will populate any links, images, anything you have. The formatting might be a little off and a little funky, so you can adjust that as you see fit. But ultimately, that is your email signature. And the next thing we're going to discuss, if we continue to go down, we'll see this CRM username. So this is their Salesforce user sync that streamlines managing your users who both use Salesforce and Pardot. If we come down here to this drop down, we'll select Katie. And this is Katie's Salesforce user. So this will assign Salesforce users to create connected Pardot users. Again, this just helps manage all users in Salesforce, so there's no need to update user records in both systems. One thing to note that once this is enabled, user sync cannot be disabled, and after February 15th, 2021, Pardot only users are going away and they will need a Salesforce user. And then afterwards, we'll see role. And you'll see here, again, if we click down the drop down, Pardot gives you four default roles. And all roles give different permission settings. Because they give different permission settings, we'll take a little bit of time now to discuss what they can and can't do. If your user has an admin role, this will give them access to all settings, all prospect data, and all marketing modules. If they have a marketing role, these users have control over prospect data and marketing modules, including creating lists, sending list emails, creating forms, landing pages, and all that fun stuff. The sales role has the most limit. So sales users only have access to prospect managed functionality. So they can send one-to-one -one emails, they cannot send list emails, and they can view, edit, and export prospects assigned to them, and that's about it. And the sales manager role has control over prospect data and marketing modules. So they can send list emails, they can create list emails, as well as forms, landing pages, and a few other things within the marketing modules. And one more thing we'll discuss is if we come down here to email preferences, you do not have to have these checked, you can uncheck them. If you do not want Pardot in your inbox, if you do realize later on that you would like to receive some of these email notifications, you can come back in and click them, but they're not necessary. And then afterwards, you're gonna create your user, and it's that simple. Thanks.